Hello my friends, wherever you are all over the world. William Poloniak here again at Whole Health Foundation. And in this video I'm going to make some special juice using my Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer. And I have a special formula today. Here I have French sorrel, which is one of the best vegetables you can ever make juice from. It cleanses every gland in your body. I'm going to use ice cubes to cool the cutter, one medium sized beet, about 50% carrots, some zucchini, a yellow squash, ginger, some turmeric, and some garlic. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with some ice cubes to cool down the cutter. First I'll plug in my thermometer. And right now we're at 22.2. Cool that down. And I want to remind you to always keep this covered. You don't want to blow back. And when you use ice cubes, make sure they go through very slowly so the cold is transferred to the cutter and the feed tube, not shooting all the way through. So we'll turn that on and cool the cutter. Let's start with some French sorrel. See my temperature's down to 12 degrees already from 23 or 24. remind you that with a Whole Health Foundation juicer and also a Norwalk juicer, you need not worry about putting your fingers in the feed tube because it's extra long and you'll never reach the cutter so it's very, very safe. So we'll put in, let's put in some ginger and some garlic. Garlic, some ginger. Zucchini, keeping this covered, remember. Some turmeric. A little more zucchini. Okay, I've done all of my greens. I'm going to do a quick egg squash. And then my beet, which I've already cut in half so it fits in here. Now next I'm going to switch to carrots. I'm going to run a couple of carrots through the larger J grid, juicing grid, and then I'm going to switch to the small 1 8 inch hole grids which are more ideal for carrots. So let's just clean the shoot out of the carrots. And just to remind you every so often to uh, clean your grid. Always put the grid holder up here, never on a shelf. You'll forget where you put it, believe me. I've forgotten many times myself. Put it on the shelf and I thought, where did I put that darn thing? So now I always put it up here, always in visual sight. And I'm switching to the 1 8 inch grid, which is better for carrots. They call it the number two grid. Unplug the thermometer, clean the grid. Now what I do is I clean everything first. Now I just got my frozen cloths out of the freezer. What I do on the break them on the countertop like so to make it easier to, to manage. And then I'm gonna take them, peel them apart. And what I'm gonna do next is take the feed tube off clean any pulp out of the cutter like so. Put the rest of the pulp into the bowl. Get as much 
to that produce out of the feed tube as I can. And then I'm going to rinse in the uh, feed tube. And this is what I love about these juicers, is how easy it is to clean the feed tube. It's under 30 seconds. Cleaning brush. We'll clean the cutter. We'll put the pulp aside for now. Loosen any pulp that's behind the feed tube like I'm doing here. And then, either with a damp cloth or with a spray nozzle like I have, clean the pulp off, put the cutter on top and reassemble. I always like to reassemble before I start making my juice. The cutter goes here with the hole down so it will drain. The grid and grid holder go back in the feed tube. And next, I want to point out that I have these custom-made wooden pushers. I like the wooden pushers more than the plastic black ones because it's lighter. And what I've done is I've had the wooden pusher tapered so that it fits loosely in the feed tube and it, even if it gets swollen it won't get stuck like many wooden pushers do. So we'll set this aside and clean that later. And the first, next thing we're going to do is mix the pulp and we're going to go in both directions to get a really good mix. And look at that bright green French sorrel juice. One of the benefits of French sorrel is it cleanses every gland in your body and one thing about French sorrel is it sweetens your juice. Unlike most greens which are bitter, French sorrel will actually make your juice sweet. That's one of the things I love about French sorrel. I'm going to unfold the last of my cloths and I'll point out a couple of tips here. I'm going to place it in the container and let it hang over the edge so the cloths don't touch the countertop. Put my juice tray in here, and then three medium spoons in each cloth. Now, one thing I love about the Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer is the solid bottom plate enables you to leave the press up for longer. And as most people don't realize, the last 10% of your press has the most valuable nutrients. On a Norwalk juicer, you can only leave it up 10, maybe 20 seconds. On a Whole Health Foundation juicer, if you need to, you can leave it up for a minute or longer. Now I'm going to demonstrate my six cloth method, and actually I'm going to demonstrate my less work six cloth method. Now pay attention to my folding technique. I pull with my fingers under and make a little fold and pull this over. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is put two cloths in, the juicer centered, all the way back, back it off a little bit. This slides over, the new cloth goes here, and while I'm juicing, I'm going to fill the last cloth. folding technique, I fold it under, advance a little bit, this goes forward, this goes over, and since we're reusing this we need not wait for every last thimble full of juice, so I'm going to stop it now and show you my six cloth method. The spent cloth goes here, the new cloths full of pulp go in the juicer. And you can see I have a lot of juice here, so I'm going to very carefully try to pour that in. Hold this down with my thumb and see if I can do this without spilling it. Last time I did this, I got no one on my countertop. So, all the way back, back it off. We're not going to throw away the pulp. This is what I call my less work six cloth method. There's still a lot of nutrient left in that pulp. So, what I'm going to do. Just put two scoops on top of the old pulp, refold it, advance this a little bit. There's a rhythm as you can see. And I'm going to go a little faster now. Flatten it, that's very important. Advance it a little bit more. And as
as I open up my last cloth and advance it all the way, two scoops of pulp on top of the old pulp, refold it. Now notice I'm letting this up longer than 20 seconds. I can leave it up for a minute or more in a whole health foundation premium model. Flatten this, pull this forward, pull that over, and the spent cloths go on top. The new cloths full of pulp go in. Let's do that one more time. All the way back, back it off a little bit. Open up the spent pulp, which is still a little bit damp. Put in two spoonfuls of pulp. Refold it. As tight a package as you can get. Pull it into a tight package. Upside down, flatten it. Flattening it is very, very important. Advance it a little bit more. Now I notice my container is almost full. My press has been up almost a minute. And we're down to a thin stream. And my six cloth method, this goes forward, this goes over, and the spent cloth will go on top. And remember, I'm using my less work six cloth method. So since this is full, we're going to trans transfer this to my uh, beverage bottles. Now to prevent my tray from dripping on the countertop, I'm going to set it back, but far back so that it's obvious. If you set it back just a tiny bit, you will forget, you'll damage your tray and you'll damage your juicer. Put it all the way back so it's very, very obvious. Now let's go over here and fill some bottles. Now what I do in my bottles of juice is I fill it not quite to the top. I leave about 7-8% to top off with filtered water or distilled water. I use distilled water because I have a distilled water system. All the way back, back it off a little bit, turn it on. And again, the less work six cloth method, you don't throw away the old pulp. We're going to rehydrate the pulp with new wet soggy pulp. Refold it. Pat it down flat, that's very important. The more flat, the better it's going to press. Advance it a little bit more. And this last one, we're going to use the spatula because I don't want to waste any of this produce. It's expensive enough in the store and even if you grow it yourself, you don't want to waste it. Alright, I'm down to my last four full cloths all the way back, back it off. What I'm going to do with these cloths that tend to be a little bit too large, I'm going to repackage it, push it into a tighter package, and repress it. You get a better press if you have a smaller package. There we have a much better sized package, much better than this one. This one's too large. Advance it a little bit more. Take a look at that pulp. We're going to pull this into a tighter ball and repackage it. As tight as possible. This time I'm going to tuck it under the same way as I would do for fruit. Flatten it. That's very, very important. If you don't flatten it, it could get off center. Pull this back. I think we can repackage these two. This will go in. All the way back, back it off. And while that's pressing, I'm going to repackage this into a tighter ball. Get close up of what I'm doing here. Okay. Much tighter package. There we have another container. Let's fill our bottles. Let's take these out of here, and I'm going to set the tray back so it's obvious. Let's fill the rest of the bottles. All right, we got ten bottles, and I'm going to fill up with um, distilled water and top off my juices. Now, I like to top my juices off with water because it's actually way too concentrated, especially for a diabetic. Now 
one thing that I do with my juices, because I'm the only one drinking them, is I drink off the foam because I don't want any air in there at all. But you could just fill it till it overflows a little bit like that. A little tiny bit of water and juice on your countertop is not going to hurt anything. So I have looks like 10 bottles of juice. There's 8, 9, 10. Clean up my spill. And into the fridge they're going to go. I hope you like what you've seen, my friends. And if you do, please tell a friend. And if you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I hope you like the performance of the Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer and if you do or you have any questions about it, give me a phone call or send me an email. See you on the next video.